Stampers, it's Kim Vogel with the Basement Bunch Stampers here for another terrific Tuesday video. Today I'm going to share with you this cute little card that I created that I refer to as the pop-up card. Isn't that so cute? This card is designed for the person you give it to to set it on their desk as a little uh, pop-up card so that they can look at it and have a little decoration. The awesome thing about this card is that it folds right down to be able to fit into a regular sized envelope for you to be able to mail this. Now you may need to tell your the receiver of this card how it works because when they receive it, they might kind of look at it a little strange and not really know what to do with it. But it is a simple, cute little pop-up card and I love it. I think it's a great, unique card to be able to give to someone special. So I wanna show you how I made this today and share with you the measurements as well as the products that I use to create this cute card. So the stamp set that I used is from our Occasions catalog and it is called the Picture Perfect Birthday. And the paper that coordinates with this is amazing. I'm gonna pull the paper in here and show you some of the patterns of it. Now this is the exact pack that I used. So ignore all of the little scraps that I've got in here because I keep all of it. You never know when you might need to use it again. But the, some of the paper that I use today is I use the back of this one. Look how bright and cheerful this is. And so all of them have a different pattern to them. And the opposite side actually has some really big patterns. Look how pretty that paper is. Um, this comes in six by six. I believe it's 48 sheets and it's only $10 and it's a great paper to add to your collection. So if you have not um, ordered this yet, I encourage you to do so. I also have a class that I will be offering in April, an online class, a um, birthday class, using this paper as well. So that is the paper and stamp set that I used. From there, I'm gonna bring in um, some of the, the cardstock and measurements and show you how quick and simple this project is to put together. So I am going to be starting today with a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock. Now this cardstock is cut four and a quarter by eleven, so you can get two pieces of or two cards out of one piece of this paper. We're going to be doing some scoring on this paper, and so I'm bringing in my stamp and trimmer. Um, let me bring it down here so it's in view for you all to see. Pull out my arm here. So I'm going to be scoring this at the one inch mark at two and three fourths, at three and three fourths, at five and a half, at seven and a quarter, at eight and a quarter, and finally at 10. Lots of scoring on this. Let me get my trimmer out of here. Um, oh no, I still need my trimmer. Sorry, forgot one more thing. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna for, fold this card in half as if I was going to be making a regular size card. So I'm folding on that score line that I did at the five and a half inch mark. I'm going to put that fold line right here where I'm going to be cutting. So I'm actually gonna line this up at five and a half since that's where that score line is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be cutting a slit right in the center of this so that I can make that pop-up com component work in this card. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be bringing my cutting blade into play here. And this um, uh, arm right here has a ruler on it. This is where this ruler is phenomenal. I'm gonna bring this down to the half of an inch mark, which is right here. And I am going to cut all the way down to the three and three quarters inch line. So that provided me with this little slot for me to be able to put the slide up component in, which I will show you in just a few moments. So now I can get my trimmer out of here. Okay, so from here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I made the little sliding component part. So I did this in advance to save a little bit of time with today's video, but the cardstock and dimensions for cutting these three layers is the um, Whisper White is cut two and three fourths by five and a quarter. The Designer Series Paper is cut, um, let me look at these real quick. Um, two and three fourths by five and a quarter. So it kind of goes um, up each time I, I might be saying those wrong, but it basically goes down a, qu a quarter of an inch each time that I do it. So the cardstock is three by five and a half. Designer series paper is two and three fourths by five and a quarter. White is two and a half by five, okay? And so what we're gonna do now 
is we are gonna actually fold on all of these score lines. Now you could use your bone folder to get a really good crease here. Um, I just did not bring mine into my video today, but um, that's okay. Um, I think it'll, for what I need to do to demonstrate this card to you, I think it's gonna work just fine. So I've scored on all of those, um, on all of those uh, score lines. And I'm gonna add a little bit of Fast Fuse. Now if you don't use Fast Fuse, I suggest that you use tear and tape, but I'm gonna add a little bit of Fast Fuse to both of these ends of my card. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sticking my insert in here, um, going up from the end middle of the card, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere this down to the very bottom, lining this up. And you want to kind of make sure you have the same amount of space on both sides. But I want to line this up right here down at the bottom and glue that in place like that. Okay, so so far you can see I've kind of got that like that. And then I'm going to fold this side over and line it right up with that end as well and you will see that that has created for me this perfect little pop-up look at that isn't that cute so adorable now what i'm going to be doing is and, and to fold this up i found it easiest to push up the middle and it will fold right back up but what we want to do is add some designer series paper now to this to decorate this little box a little bit when it's popped up so I use some of the different designer series paper that is in the same paper um, stack that I showed you previously. They're pretty um, picture perfect party paper. And I cut two pieces of that at, um, let me look at my measurements here and tell you what these are cut at. These are cut at one and a half by four. And we're gonna adhere these down. And I glued one down up here and I'm gonna glue the other one on the other side because when I put the box down, that's gonna be the two um, that need to be have panels on them. So I'm gonna add another piece of this paper onto the other side. And then using the same designer series paper, I cut a third piece that is three quarters of an inch um, by the four as well that I'm going to adhere down to the bottom of my little box right here and you'll see why here in just a second when I bring the sample back in. Now I stamped the images on this card using um, the Bermuda Bay ink, the Berry Burst ink, and the Basic Black ink. So that is all of the little um, stamping that I did. And all of those stamped images are from that stamp set that I showed you previously, which it coordinates with the paper. So it is the picture perfect um, birthday stamp set. So what I did now is just added some of those little, the little paper to my little, um, my little box. And on my sample, I didn't take the time to do this for my video today, but I used a piece of white scrap and I just stamped happy birthday and I just cut that out, hand cut that out of the, the scrap of white, adhered it on with some mini dimensionals. And so when my box is um, up on display like this, that will be able to be visible there as well. But what I wanna show you is how I added this cute little bow. If you do not have the bow builder punch yet, it is a must have, especially if you have girls that you do scrapbooking for. Um, you do need to punch this out twice for um, every, every, every bow you wanna make. And I'm gonna show you how it, it gets, how easy it is to put this together. So I use glue dots for it. And what I'm gonna do, let me the punch here so you can kinda of see the, the different shapes. Um, but what I do is I use glue dots and I am gonna, I put a glue dot on the end and I'm just gonna put these, glue those two together. So that is one half of my little bow. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the second one. And from there, I glue the two together. And then because I used a paper that's a little bit busy, I wanted a solid for my center. Now you could have used a different paper if you wanted to, but I just chose to use um, a solid that coordinates. And I'm putting a glue dot on both ends of that. And all I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna wrap it right around the center and I'm wrapping it quite tightly. I'm gonna wrap it all the way around. 
Look how cute that is. And then what I do with my little tails, now these little tails I'm gonna put out to the side. You could also put them down if you wanted to and have your bow be more like, like that. Um, but I'm not gonna be doing it that way. I'm gonna be doing it with the tails out. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna be adding a glue dot to each tail. This is how I do it and I found it to work pretty easily. But I add a glue dot to the tail and then from here, I kind of line up where I want it and I just push the bow down and it kind of puts that right in place where I want it. Look how cute that bow was to put together. From there, I also use glue dots to adhere it and I'm gonna adhere this to the very top of my card right up here. So there you have it, a cute little pop-up card. Um, that you can send to someone special. Again, you may have to include some instructions for it, but isn't that darling? I encourage you to check out my website at kimsbasementbunch.com for all of my um, Tuesday um, videos. I do offer a cute little um, giveaway every single week as well, and I try to feature a different project each week. So thank you for stopping today. I hope you enjoyed this cute project, and make sure you join my mailing list for all my free tutorials that I give out on Fridays. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great day.